Good morning. Today, boys, we're going to read Jonathan and the Big Blue Boat by Philip Steed. This book is dedicated to a little bear named Frederick. It makes me feel very small, said Jonathan to Frederick. He held Frederick up high so he could see the big blue boat too. Jonathan loved the big blue boat. He and Frederick would stay at the old wharf till sunset, looking up at its rusty blue hull. One afternoon, Jonathan's parents announced, You're getting too old for a stuffed animal, so we traded your bear for a toaster. Oh, no, cried Jonathan. Frederick was his best friend. Toasters are really useful, they added. That day, Jonathan walked to the old wharf alone. Ahoy, called the gray-haired tugboat captain. Why so sad? Jonathan sighed. Frederick is missing. He could be anywhere in the whole world by now. The seagulls made a lonely sound over the harbor. A long time ago, said the captain, the big blue boat sailed all over the world. My tugboat worked very hard in those days. Standing in the shadow of the big blue boat, Jonathan had an idea. Before long, the big blue boat was steaming like a tea kettle. The tugboat pulled it out past the buoys and into the open ocean. Jonathan was off to find Frederick. Good luck, the captain bellowed as Jonathan waved goodbye. And that is how Jonathan came to sail the sea on a big blue boat. A storm gathered on the high seas. All through the night, the big blue boat rocked back and forth on the tall waves. When morning came, the boat was marooned. Hello, said Jonathan to a mountain goat. I'm looking for a bear named Frederick. The goat was startled. He had never met a sea captain before. I've never met a bear before, said the goat, but someday I would like to. Jonathan looked up. I could use a first mate, he offered, but my boat is stuck. The goat wagged his chin thoughtfully. He wedged his powerful horns beneath the boat's hull. The great ship teetered like a seesaw, and then... Anchors away! And that is how Jonathan and the mountain goat came to sail the sea on a big blue boat. Circus tents appeared in the distance. Full steam ahead, said Jonathan to the goat. On shore, the circus was deserted except for an elephant. We're looking for a bear named Frederick, said Jonathan. I'm the only one here, the elephant replied. He lowered his trunk. I've grown too old for the circus. The elephant looked very sad and very wise. We could use an experienced traveler, said Jonathan. And that is how Jonathan, a mountain goat, and a circus elephant came to sail the sea on a big blue boat. Pirates, cried the elephant from the lookout perch. Arr, hand over your treasure, ordered the pirate captain. We're looking for a bear named Frederick, explained Jonathan. They're holding out on us, roared the pirate captain. Ready the artillery, storm the ship. The goat wielded his horns. The elephant stood on his hind legs, waving his tusks in the air. Fire, the captain, pirate captain yelled. Kerblam! Startled the sound of his own cannon, the captain cried, Retreat! The big blue boat began to sink. Oh no, cried the goat. We're shipwrecked, moaned the elephant. Man the lifeboats, ordered Jonathan. Just then, a whale swam up from under the fray, balancing the big blue boat on the length of his back. He said in a deep, slow whale voice, the ocean can be very lonely. It's good to have company. And that is how Jonathan, a mountain goat, and a circus elephant came to sail the sea on a big blue boat on the back of a whale. 
The elephant and goat snored like a foghorn and a whistle. Jonathan looked out at the endless sea. Will I ever find Frederick, he wondered. Far off, a lighthouse blinked, showing the way to a distant port. Captain, asked the whale, should we set course? I'll watch the ship. Let's go back to this page and just show you the ship at night. I'll watch the ship, said the whale. The others spent the day bear hunting in train stations and alleyways. They rode taxicabs and elevators and talked to pigeons along the way. Frederick was nowhere to be found. Where will we look now, asked the elephant. A light flickered on in a shop window. We'll try here, said Jonathan. Oops, let's go back and look at the picture. They're going into a shop. Inside, the shop was cluttered but cheerful. Hello, said a little girl from behind the counter. And in her arms, she was holding, Frederick, cried Jonathan. Oh, he's not for sale, said the little girl. I traded a toaster for this bear. He is my best friend. I wouldn't go anywhere without him. Jonathan smiled. After all, a big boat needs a big crew. And that is how Jonathan, Frederick, a mountain goat, a circus elephant, and a little girl from behind the counter came to sail the sea on a big blue boat on the back of a whale. The end.